Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Libra. And of course, we're going to be finding out all that we need to know when it comes to your current situation for Libra in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know? Right now, Libra, be open to healing information. Ooh, nice. And I do feel that you're going to be given a gift here. Um, just remain strong. I, <laughs> You know, when I see this night, actually, Libra, I see a sense of integrity, a sense of justice, someone who believes in justice or who believes in honesty and truth, no matter how difficult it may be to stand in that truth. And that what that's what makes you such a, a spiritual warrior. So you are at a place where some of you, Libras, you might be finding that your skills, your talents, maybe some new um, gifts are being unveiled at this time. So you are... Um, being guided to focus on your gifts, focus on, you know, other healing information that you either utilize for oneself, and obviously that would be the wise thing to do, right? Because uh, without experience, you can't know too much, but uh, with experience, we have gained wisdom. So, you know, that healing information for you is also a gift of yours to share with others, whether it's right now or down the road, I definitely feel you're being inspired to continue walking your path right now. And don't question it because I do feel that you are being guided to do things right now to comfort yourself. There may be a person on, on the horizon here or someone that you may have right now. They can embody uh, Empress energy, so <clears throat> they could have a lot of maternal qualities about them very nurturing, very comforting, whether they're male or female. Um, but there is an opportunity right now to kind of settle in with just being comfortable with where you're at no matter what and to feel some certain energies that are going on. I also sense um, Archangel Raphael that is also surrounding you at this time. So a lot of you uh, Libras, uh, you're being given a lot of um, abilities right now to open yourself up to more wisdom, uh, access to a lot of energies to utilize for yourself and also for others because a lot of you are powerful healers in some way, shape, and form. Transform and unveil your gifts. Some of you pay attention to different spirit guides, animals that are you know crossing your path right now. They have a lot to offer you. And most importantly, it's mostly encouragement, okay? Just st keep standing in your truth because I do see a lot of you, you are in this place of being the cause of great change for oneself because you are that much of a true spiritual warrior because I can feel it off you. Let's see what else you need to know about your situation. Um, I would say that air sign and water sign is coming through, um, also earth sign. Let's continue and see what else you need to know about your situation, Libra. And also, Libra, check the description box. I'm going to try to make sure that I have like the latest uh, fun like videos to listen to and the last SOS readings in there. Uh, links to those. Hopefully, if I remember now. <laughs> okay, so look at this. Okay, all right. All right, mm -hmm. didn't I just say warrior? I could just feel it off of you. Here you are standing in so much truth and light within yourself because you are honoring something very significant about your soul's sacred path for a lot of you. Now, some of you, some of you, you may not even realize or feel that you're on such a sacred and soul path yet. Just start paying attention, be aware, okay? Through any type of darkness, because what's surrounding this warrior is darkness, um, they are the illuminated one, though. That's you. So, something about this <clears throat> spear or this spear or uh, wand, or I would say a staff, is showing me something about you right now actually being on the right track in some significant area of your life, and not to question this, you are being asked to continue unveiling your gifts or noticing things about your own self, right? When it comes to strength, power, focus, okay? Because you are being given a gift of 
some kind of maybe surge of energy, maybe a creative idea or solution, or just that, again, energy that you may need just to take action on something to create something powerful or to even just stay focused. Yeah, I feel a lot of you, it's about staying focused in the midst of maybe great change or maybe a lifestyle change for some of you. Stepping into a place of <clears throat> honoring what's really right for you and others. Ooh, look at that butterfly. I, I, I don't think maybe I have, but I don't know. The butterfly is really jumping out to me. And we even have the word transform on this shapeshifter here. So I feel your nature spirits, God and angels are surrounding you and showing you butterflies on your path too. I mean, look, it's just surrounding her here. Oh my goodness, it's so lovely. So this uh, Mother Earth is, <clears throat> yes, of course, the um, the Divine Mother in the Earth here that is comforting, taking care of you, speaking to you, okay, through your own uh, body here and your own uh, spiritual gifts. And she wants you to feel comfortable right now. And look, she is, you know, pregnant pregnant with something some type of idea new life new situation so she's taking it easy so we need to mimic this we're taking it easy while we're learning a lot about our own talents gifts maybe healing information for oneself because for some of you i can see that there may be you know physical emotional mental whatever uh, some type of mostly i'm getting some kind of physical ailment here maybe we haven't been feeling so well maybe we've had to heal you know, a broken heart, a broken bone, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying, right? So here you are being very focused and unlocking the magic within because it is through being focused and being in one's own truth here where we have um, a lot of powers coming from, you know, the divine uh, father, heavenly force above and this mother, the mother en energy here that can give birth and nurture and produce these wonderful things that are materializing in your life. So I would say, you know, a bountiful time awaits here, um, Libra. What else for Libra? Yeah, I feel a lot of you, there's something you're noticing about yourself that's really significant, or you will. I feel you've had some close encounters here, or there is one coming. <clears throat> you know, birds of a feather flock together for a lot of you. Okay, you've transformed into a butterfly. You already have wings. That's what I see with you is you've already, you, you have your wings here, right? So you've gone through that process of metamorphosis. You've gone through the process of having to be the caterpillar and not knowing and going through the unknown. And what I like to what I like to always say is, you know, you can't speak butterfly language. Look at all the butterflies. You can't speak butterfly language to caterpillar people because they don't understand that language, right? So take time with yourself, even if you're having to be strong, you know, in the midst of maybe on some type of uncertainty, not knowing things right now. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, Queen of Pentacles. That's really significant. She's very connected to this Mother Earth energy, okay? Uh, very much tied into Empress energy here. So, you know, this is a time where Queen of Pentacles is taking the time to honor herself. See, she's produced something here and she's proud of what she's producing. She's holding something that she's feeling really grateful for, happy about, that she can see will continue to grow. We've had some type of you know, skills here, Libra. So don't question your skills or your talents, your ability to maintain some type of maybe boundaries here, right? Because sometimes that's what it takes to stand in one's truth and honor here. I do see someone who is well off and feeling the comforts of, you know, what life can provide oneself here. Food, money, shelter. Queen of Pentacles is definitely got a taste for quality things, but you know, she's she's definitely doing things too to nurture those quality things because she's not being ungrateful about that, okay? Because she knows it's coming, you know, really from the spiritual realm. 
Okay, so let's get a little bit more about this Queen of Pentacles. See, I was picking up something about a woman on your path here for a lot of you or someone that has, maybe if they're not a woman, they just have a, um, you know, they, they've got a special ability here with um, nurturing, caring, comforting, okay? And also they could be a businesswoman, a career woman here. We could be finding for some of you more balance with, uh, you know, career and home life. Let's get more. What do you want Libra to know about this Queen of Pentacles? Excuse me, Queen of Pentacles. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming through here with the Queen of Pentacles. We're doing something right with our money too for a lot of you. <clears throat> Maybe just taking the time to allow ourselves to see uh, full results. Okay, see our fruit ripen here. Let's get a little bit more with the Queen of Pentacles. What do you want Lib Libra to know? She's also outdoors too, actually. So she's definitely gr uh, doing things to ground herself with uh, earth energies. Look at how she's out outdoors here, okay? Maybe maybe there is something about out being outdoors, getting fresh air for some of you. Um, mirror guardian, oh my goodness, this is cute because I kind of see that pentacle as this golden mirror too, right? So take time to reflect. See, look look what she's doing in the Queen of Pentacles. She's outdoors. She's taking time to reflect on her accomplishments, um, taking time to uh, maybe even reflect how far her soul really goes because she's really looking into the, the galaxy there of the universe. Okay, so we're unlocking something maybe very important and sacred within one's own DNA blueprint, you know, your soul's blueprint here. But yeah, to see how far you've come and see how much more there's going to be for you to play in the world of, maybe, maybe I'll just say the world and the spiritual world of expansiveness, but also knowing and maintaining one's own, um, you know, ground here, right? Not losing oneself. That's what makes you strong and successful is not losing oneself while things are changing, while we're even um, upgrading our own gifts, our own wisdom, our own talents and abilities, we still are staying grounded and rooted. So I feel for some of you, if you've been undecisive, because what's kind of weird, Libra, let me tell you something. I thought I thought my cat, <clears throat> I thought Zeus was going to come join us because he didn't could not make up his mind. He wouldn't come in and out. He wanted water, then he didn't want water. You know, it's just, he's so cute. So I was kind of wondering maybe if <clears throat> some of you Libras are kind of feeling like you don't know, you're kind of feeling like you're undecisive, you don't know what to do, even if it's like small things, right? What to do in your day here, you know, especially if you're um, an entrepreneur or even if you're not, right? I just feel there may be something going on with trying to figure out what which direction to go. So I was just seeing this thing about being focused. I mean, I even see the hawk. Hawk is about being focused here too. Um, yeah, so don't let things disturb you or discourage you. That's part of being focused here is not being, not letting your peace of mind or something make you feel uncomfortable, even if it might be comfortable. Cause that's what takes this, you know, true warrior to be fearless and standing strong here, right? It's going to get comfortable. Don't worry for some of you, if you are feeling uncomfortable, I feel that again, there is just someone on your path. If they're not here yet, I feel that this person could be, you know, uh, so, someone that you could get some great practical um, advice from or she, someone he or she could, you know, give you some, um, maybe even some comforts of like money, time, food, you know, whatever. Just take it in. Okay. You deserve it. Okay. Let's see what else for Libra. And maybe some of you Libras, that's you wanting to do that, but I would say for a lot of you Libras, it's, it is really important to, you know, know when to give to yourself, know when to give to others. Okay. Because there's always a time and place for that. And the other thing that I actually I've been learning Libra is, you know, is that, uh, just because you can, doesn't mean you have to, especially those that are like really well off spiritually and materially, um, you know, comfortable and well off. Just because you can give your time, money, and energy to something doesn't mean you necessarily have to, because we also have to have to be an in integrity of oneself too, you know, not to deplete one's reserves, resources, energy, right? Time. <clears throat> 
What else for Libra? And look at wolf spirit here, right? <laughs> I love this wolf. Okay, and now you got eagle. You got them all. Okay, see from a higher perspective. So some of you, you might be maybe in the four of cups or maybe even eight of swords. We might just be having a hard time focusing because yes, something is, you know, kind of scratching, you know, scratching at you that's just not really comfortable or maybe we're just trying to figure something out. But uh, there's going to be something here where as long as you can see it from a higher perspective and for some of you, all it takes is for you to you know, set some boundaries with yourself even, right? Maybe we need to put ourselves on some type of healthy routine and schedules because uh, that will help you in the long run start to see things from a higher perspective, okay? Because we're not so cl too close. Because sometimes this Queen of Pentacles, hmm, hmm. Some of you Libras, I'm catching something here with you. Some of you Libras, there could be something with getting your mind off of too much of the material things, right? You know, money, cars, house, clothes, you know, and even the things that we want to make our house or our environment more beautiful. Maybe for right now, just, you know, focus on something else. Because for some, you know, take it if it resonates, because you're going to know. She just, I feel like she's really close to that pentacle. She's really kind of maybe even being obsessed, right? So to the point where we might be having a hard time seeing it from a higher perspective. And look at what the eagle is doing. I feel like this eagle is actually getting ready to grab an opportunity. So once we are seeing things or seeing something from a higher perspective, or if we're challenged, if, if you're fine right now, Libra, just wa watch out because the eagle here is telling me because whenever eagle shows up, there's something you need to be aware of, I feel, okay? It's not to scare you, but there's something I would say within the next few weeks you need to be uh, aware of, and it's going to be about someone for a lot of you. It will be about some type of person um, or possession of some type, okay? <clears throat> Let's see, what else for Libra? Now... This is a side note, and this will not resonate for all of you, but some of you Libras have been dealing or dealing with a very dominant woman that either is bringing you good things in life or she's just a person of bad energy, he or she. But again, if it's a male, it most likely would be uh, have a lot of tendency of maybe some feminine qualities and aspects, okay? Oh my goodness. So do not focus on where you have been. Focus on where you're headed. See this whole thing we were talking about, that whole thing about you being focused, right? And look more about focus. Two of these cards are, <laughs> the first three words are, yeah, yeah. Focus on your, right? Do not focus. So focus on your dreams and allow the power of manifesting to start now. So here we are where, you know, I sense this like four of cups energy actually with this mirror. So we may need a space give ourselves some time and space from things and distance so that we can focus, we can reflect. What are your dreams? You know, maybe you need to make some new ones, even if they're little, start with those. That's the best way to go anyways. Uh, do not focus on where you have been, that past, right? Maybe she is focused on the past, but also I can see the queen of pentacles either way. She's either focused on the too much on the past or she is focused, um, you know, in the now mostly because I see her focus on what she's achieved thus far and then where she's also headed here. Okay. So your angels are whispering to you and letting you know and guiding you and um, giving you that nudge to what on what to focus because I again I was kind of just picking up for some of you Libras you might be feeling like I don't know I don't know what to focus on right now right what's 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 the first thing I should focus on or something like that okay um, and it could be anything big or small it doesn't matter just pick something as long as you feel like it's moving you towards more balance or qual something quality here then that's the way to go what else for Libra and I'm going to take a little sip of water, Libra. Maybe you should too. So maybe you should pause the video and drink more water. <laughs> or you don't have to. Don't listen to me. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to take a sip of water because I'm trying to drink a lot more water myself. <clears throat> I know. I love this. I love this card when it comes out. What? Are, oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Do you see? I just could feel this and it's so cute because it's wolf spirit. Oh my goodness. We're so in tune. <laughs> Take care of your needs. Um, you know, look at this. You are the seer. Look at you. See beyond the current situation. High priestess, pretty much. I see something more powerful is going on in the spiritual realm. So you might as well take care of your needs. See, don't, don't you see the queen of pentacles is she's taken time to reflect. Even if it is, you know, for some of you, if you don't even know what to do when it comes to taking care of your needs, which I do hope you do though, maybe the first one is to really look around and be proud of yourself. First of all. Okay. Maybe you do need to go out into nature or do something. It doesn't necessarily have to be in nature, but there's something about taking that time to really honor, reflect what are your needs and then tend to them. And, and when you do that, your gifts, your spiritual gifts will grow. And so will the material gifts in life. We just are having to adjust and align you know, towards the right uh, things to focus on right now to manifest what we want in the material realm here, because we've got pentacles. So this is earth energy. This, these are things you can touch, hold, you know, you've accumulated here. <clears throat> now, some of you too, there could be another true warrior on your path, you know, like a lone wolf type of energy. I always call it like a lone wolf, but there's very very powerful with that. Okay. So you could be uh, connecting with another here for some of you, maybe in the regards of love or, you know, a sense of tribe. What else for Libra? I feel like this night is really having to do what they can to like get the past out of their mind, you know, so it may take a little bit more strength, but once you, once you catch it, Libra, it'll get easier and easier. Okay. What else for Libra? Look at this, like, uh, there's like a divine matrix just surrounding you, right? You know, all the time here. So you are weaving, you know, your dreams right now. You're unveiling your gifts. Life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve <laughs> and not what you haven't. You know, we were talking about that with the queen of pentacles here. Okay. Because she is obviously taking the time to notice her pentacle, notice the land that she's sitting on, noticing the fresh air that she's getting, uh, honoring her own intelligence of being able to strategize in life and accumulate what she has. Oh, you know, what's coming through right now too. A lot of you Libras need to hear this. Your possessions and loved ones are safe and protected by heaven. So no need to worry. Just keep continuing to focus on what you can achieve. That's the real key to success anyways. Okay. You get to, this is the power about this whole thing about transforming is we get, the, we get to choose to start over and not let that past bother us. We just get more masterful with time and the tries. What else? I just told you father sky. <laughs> And here, look, the father in the sky, the mother in the earth is always surrounding you. Trust in the unknown. Cause this is where your gift really lies. If you really want to know some of you, do you know that? I think you do. Some of you may not, but one of your gifts is being able to be a true warrior, <laughs> a true spiritual warrior, trust in the unknown because it takes that much courage, uh, courage and strength to do so because we're battling against seeing results, but also trusting in the unseen. Okay. Look at Eagle spirits showing up again. That's two Eagles. I, I, I really feel like you are connecting. If you're not connected with some, someone that is a Eagle like you. Okay. <laughs> What else for Libra? So I get Empress. I get um, also that uh, Emperor energy here. See, it's all it's all lining up here, Libra. This is this whole spiritual alignment. We got that feminine, masculine energy. We got the the Father in the sky, the Mother in the earth. We've got true alignment here. 
you're not supposed to be rushing anything. In fact, you don't want to rush anything. You're taking care of your needs. And part of you taking care of your needs is being willing to not get stressed out or frustrated when we can't see beyond the situation because this is, again, <laughs> one of your gifts to be able to see beyond the current situation and to trust in the unknown because not a lot of people like to do that. Positive thinking is a is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. This is this magic guardian, the magician energy, a positive attitude along with a positive, oh, excuse me, with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients. It's the recipe here for creating happiness. So don't worry. Think love. Fight your worry with love. Try to just focus on what you do love, right? And continue to do that. Now, for some of you Libras, I feel, <clears throat> I told you Archangel Raphael's here. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I would, hold on. I wanted to go back to this thing about, uh, oh, some of you Libras. Now, some of you Libras. You know, take some time to, I feel, don't be so hard on yourself, especially if you feel like you've been a little negative or not so positive. I mean, you know, that's just life. In fact, we need to kind of go through the, those valleys. We have to. It's part of like creating, sculpting, becoming, you know, who we are at our best. But some Libras, if you know it takes you a little bit longer to get over things and just kind of accept that about yourself and honor it, because I feel like once you know that about yourself, if, if you know it takes you a little bit longer to get over things, <clears throat> then honor that about yourself. Because I know for me, I that it, for me, it, it takes me, I feel a lot longer than normal people <laughs> to get over things, especially when it's you know, has to do with, you know, the de deepest part of our own soul, our heart here. Okay. But you are so loved and comforted by your guardians, by God, by mother earth, by Jesus. You're, 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 you're just, you know, having to stay strong in the face of uncertainty. So I, I sense moon energy is coming through here. So Pisces energy is at play. What else for Libra? Think global because yeah, <laughs> you are being encouraged. And you know, I think I even used those words was, you know, you're being encouraged here by your guardians right now to spread your wings. Libra, I, I know for sure. I said to you, you have your wings. You have your wings. Some of you, you're just still having a face some caterpillars and that's okay. You'll know how to deal with all of these changes. You'll know how to love and honor people wherever they're at, no matter what, right? Including oneself. Oh my goodness. Think outside the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love and then let it be. And so it will be. That's this magic guardian here unlocking the magic within and yes a lot of you remember this whole thing about uh eagle seeing it from a higher perspective you know there's something bigger going on here that you're a part of so whether you know or realize that you signed up some type of really beautiful plan with the divine here and you just got to trust because there's something big and major that's going on that's not only going to impact you in a positive way but it's going to impact a lot of people. It's got a ripple effect here. What else for Libra? Yeah, because you're medicine mother. <laughs> medicine man, medicine uh, mother, honoring, you know, your inner knowing, seeing beyond the current situation, even if, you know, it's not so great. But that's why it takes a lot of strength and focus to, you know, focus on what what we have achieved, not what we haven't achieved, right? That whole card right there. Life's too short. What else for Libra? Prayer, no matter how. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Well, some of you, you might be feeling it difficult now, but maybe for some, there could be something on the horizon. Maybe that one dominant energy here, that person that I'm feeling could be, you know, causing a little 
challenge, but there's nothing you can't handle. So no matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Just ask. We're listening. They're all around you. I mean, look, you're just like surrounded <laughs> in nature, by animals, spiritual, mother, father, sky here. Your prayers do not go unheard. Father Sky hears you. What else? <clears throat> oh, there you are, Libra. She wolf. <laughs> Isn't that just fitting? And be graceful in movement and action, right? So we're also being very still. And it's like through stillness, we're making the most powerful movements right now because you are mastering something. And yeah, maybe some of you guys are picking up like past lifetimes of mastering things. Okay. So this is a time to give into your like wild side. Something here about she wolf is someone who's got gifts, talents, abilities that are probably most likely misunderstood. Some people get obsessed too with it. So they try to track you down but you're not supposed to be scared of that. You're supposed to unleash something wild within. Some of you, you already tapped into it. Now some of you, you're waking up something inside of you. So yeah, it's time to get raw. It's time to get back into being instinctual, feeling things out right now, feeling what feels good and right for you. You are the alpha male or alpha, alpha female. So yeah, some of you, you're having to trust and carve out or trust your instincts when it comes, maybe I shouldn't say carved out, but your path, right? So trusting your instincts on your path because you are a true pathfinder. And through unleashing that wild within, something that wants to express through you without being inhibited or feeling scared or shameful, and hopefully not, is going to open up and illuminate what needs to be illuminated here. Okay, look at Wolf. Again, wow. And again, with some of you, especially resonating with having gifts, talents, or something that others just may not know or understand, and you don't have to uh, even waste your energy on explaining it either. You know, that takes a lot of like bravery here. And to still be strong enough to be the leader of the pack, right? And not being, having to feel like you're following. Because yeah, a lot of you, you were having to, or you did separate yourself from something old and worn out for you. I feel Queen of Pentacles is very much tied into this she-wolf here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can you see her outdoors, right? Getting on that ground. She might have received some type of gift. It could be a, you know, maybe some type of beautiful warrior headdress of some type here. Something sacred for her to honor, to feel good about. Because you do deserve to feel good about what you have. And, and, and you know, for some of you, maybe you do need to hear that you are a honorable spiritual warrior. Okay, so spirit sees and appreciate your efforts. Libra, if no one else does, okay? And that will be the most important for you to know anyhow. What else for Libra? What are you waiting for, Libra? The life you dreamed of awaits you, okay? So take that time out if you need to, to start nurturing yourself, to give in to yourself, you know? What are you waiting for? Unleash that wild within Tap into your dreams. Tap into something that wants to be expressed through you. And for some, you can only do that by not giving too much concerns and worries about the material things in life too much, okay? <clears throat> what else? Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. And this is true, just like the cycles of the moon, okay? The moon is at full power when it's 100% and then it's not, right? As it goes through waxing and waning and all that. And that's just like you too. And you're finding that balance. I'm, I'm really sensing temperance energy with that. So yeah, I feel a lot of you 
um, you know, Sagittarius energy is coming through. A lot of you, you might be finding out, you know, more about staying neutral in a, in a situation or maybe for some just avoiding too much extremes. But maybe for some, you're having to give into one extreme here. You know, this whole thing about unleashing that wild within and not being afraid of it. What else? <laughs> yeah, be devoted and committed. I just see you doing that about your path here. You know, we've got the sage who is, you know, honoring themselves. Yeah, taking notes, right? Spending some time being devoted and committed here. And getting rewarded here materially for doing so. Oh my goodness. So, you know, take that time to, uh, you know, be graceful in movement and action. Take notes, you know, that you're getting from maybe your higher self, from God, Jesus, animal spirits, the animal kingdom, okay, the plant world, you know, whatever you can take and take in all that knowledge, take it in. It's there for you anyways. So we've got, you know, the student and teacher here. We're preparing, we're planning, we're taking things slow, but what we're doing is what I'm feeling here though, is like we're taking it slow, but we're taking, you know, the path that gives us results. And that's what's important because that's what the queen of pentacles is doing. She's assuring her success materially, spiritually. What else for Libra? Okay, wise one. Oh my goodness. Yes, grow within your current situation because you are a wise one here. Don't forget that. There is this whole thing about, you know, I feel like this knight, in, you know, is standing in this place of integrity, but also in this place where <clears throat> we are growing from that past situation, right? And we're having to stay strong and focus and being brave and honest with our own self, our own path. And even in the face of, you know, others that could be challenging. Yeah, some of you Libra's got an ancient like grandmother or something here that's coming through in the spiritual realm. I feel like she's like, yeah, one of your main guardians for a lot of you. Um, or maybe you do, you know, of like a grandmother or mother on the other side here or great, great, great grandmother, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see. What else for Libra? <clears throat> I feel Libra, some of you might be doing something different with your hair too. Something very tribal and unique. I'm seeing braids. I'm seeing like beads, I'm seeing feathers in the hair seeing things a little bit unique and different, but that's what I like. Some style. Okay. Anyhow, stop worrying. What did I tell you? See Libra, here you are. I knew it. I just knew you were for some of you. <laughs> stop worrying. Your desires are manifesting. We might be looking too closely. That's why for some of you guys, right? So try to, you know, play more, relax more, give to yourself more. Um, you know, you have this message about, you know, take care of your needs. One of them is, you know, you've got to figure out or be strong mentally here so that you're not allowing that worry to, again, be too extreme. Like we we're talking about balance with that temperance. So we're going to have to counteract that with something. What else for Libra? Embrace the energy of peace. So we have the broken arrow, which means you don't have to right now, Libra. Spirit's got your back. So we can ease on being maybe more guarded than usual or vigilant. I mean, you always want to be on guard in some aspect, but there's this part where, you know, you're meant to unleash something. So you can just embrace the energy of peace now. Spirit wants you to surrender to peace and feeling uh, guided and protected at all times here. And to allow something to emerge within yourself. What else for Libra? Imagine 
clearly visualize the life you want. You got to feel it in your heart. Okay, that's another secret ingredient is trying to actually feel it, not fake feel it, but you got to really try to feel it like as if it was true. Okay, so feel it in your heart and your soul and so it will come to be. <clears throat> this is part of unlocking that magic within. This is you weaving your web of dreams in the divine matrix to see it show up in your reality here. So some of you don't allow the worry to rob you of what your mind is really meant to do is to give into good imagination, creative things here, right? So, you know, take that time to, to give into, you know, maybe something creative for some of you guys. Maybe you want to paint, draw, sing, uh, I don't know, something here that could help spark some of that uh, imagination juices. <laughs> what else for Libra or spark? Uh, just hold that space. See, there's something that you already, you already know, you're already tuned into. You're already holding and being in the right place at the right time and holding that space, okay? So just maintain being the light, uh, being true to yourself, honoring yourself, and just hold the space of love and light, even if for some you're like maybe surrounded by negative ones, okay? Because that, again, that takes a true warrior to hold that space and, you know, just like this maybe old grandpa, grandma, you know, the wise ones or elders just having patience, right? And tolerance of others. Uh, what else? I just said this about, you know, like an elder having that. And that's really, I feel for a lot of you, you kind of resonate with that as being an old soul too. So when you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. Because when we do hold compassion for ourselves first, right? We give to ourselves first in that way. It really will help you have a lot more understanding and compassion for maybe even the most... For, uh, for some of you, people that you thought you could never even have any tolerance for, okay, or understand in maybe some aspect. But you're just doing something right now to offer yourself a sense of serenity, harmony, and peace because you're powerfully um, in the magician energy here, okay? And you're being guided and protected here with, you know, the things that you have and also your future dreams and your future um, ideas and possessions. <clears throat> What else for Libra? Just track down your fears and desires. We got that hunter. Yeah, because once you know what your fears are, they then they start, well, at first you might not like it, right? But that's just seeing the shadow aspect of oneself. But then that becomes your strength. That becomes you know, something you know about yourself. So then when it does arise, you just, it gets smaller and smaller and hopefully will just become non-existent here. So I feel a lot of you, you're overcoming or you have um, overcame like uh, maybe things that could have been threatening at one time. And yes, for some of you, you may just be focused on your desires, right? And seeing things through, seeing your dreams come true here, no matter what. There may be something with Aries, I'm just noticing the Ram, but you know, to me also it's signifying being headstrong, persevering here, because your persistency and you persevering is going to assure success. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Libra, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Oh, wow. We got the Six of Cups. So for some, it could be a reunion on the horizon here, um, maybe an instant connection with someone like a soul tribe. You know, I was picking up something about tribe here. So this could be a sense of a soul reunion for some of you, okay? Um, some of you, you could be visiting or connecting maybe with, you know, someone from childhood here or maybe giving into your dreams too. So there's a sense of sweetness and innocence. So I really like this because... 
you know, this is what you have to look forward to in the near future is some type of, you know, reunion of some type that's going to give you some uh, fulfillment. I do see romance here as well because this person is giving this other person some flowers here so you know be open to receiving some flowers possibly romance um let's find out how spirit is currently helping you how is spirit currently helping libra You know what I see too, Libra, is like you're seeing, you, you see, you're, for a lot of you, you'll resonate with this right now, or soon will be, what Spirit's helping you with is seeing through the eyes of one eye through Spirit and one eye, you know, that you have to in the human realm here. But yes, also taking in whatever animal uh, perspective you need to. Um, let's see, heart and soul. Oh my gosh. Uh, how spirit's helping you is when making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear, right? That mind, right, is either going to rob you of your dreams because we're given too much to worry. That's why we're tempering it, counteracting it with positive thoughts, positive thinking, taking care of ourselves, maybe taking better care of ourselves, especially for some of you who tend to take care of others better than you do for yourself, okay? You might need to change that up. And I would say do it now. So choose uh, through love, not fear. Um, so at the beginning of the reading, well, I don't even know, but no, it wasn't the beginning. Remember I was talking to you about Zeusy. I felt like Zeusy was channeling your energy. Like he didn't know what where he wanted to go. He's just kind of like, you know, indecisive about something or, you know. So that's kind of cute. Just, you know, allow yourself to you know really honor what your heart and soul are saying this is going to help you see beyond the current situation and not be afraid of what's opening up on your path right now you can trust it because there will be some type of soul resonance here okay it will you'll have this instant connection an instant uh you know again soul memory of something and someone so libra i hope that was helpful love and light take care